Los Romanos en España, señora Tora Berry, la Universidad de Memphis. Un paseo por los lugares donde visitaron y vivieron los romanos. Una ciudad importante es en Zaragoza. En este paseo revivimos el pasado romano de Zaragoza recorriendo lugares evocadores que nos ofrecen un auténtico viaje a través del tiempo. Este es un itinerario. Vamos a ver las murallas, el museo del foro, el museo del puerto, aquí está el río Ebro, muy importante. Después el Museo de las Termas y el Teatro en la ciudad de Zaragoza, el Teatro Romano. Toda esta región está llena de ruinas, pero no se ven porque tenemos muchos edificios. Las termas públicas de César Augusta tienen una piscina, tienen columnas, aquí tenemos el sistema de entrada y salida de agua y las latrinas. Yes, you're right, latrinas. Where people go to take care of themselves. Este es el interior del museo. Aquí son las entradas o salidas de agua y aquí es donde la gente se sienta ¿no? para hacer sus necesidades. Esta es una visión del Museo de las Termas Públicas de César Augusta con una reconstrucción de cómo sería, how this could be at that time. Okay, la piscina columnas, estatuas. This is the way you see today. Remember, above buildings. Underneath, you can see the piscina, columnas, whatever is left of the columnas. And right here in this area, they are the channels for the water to come and go and letrinas, servicios, or the bathrooms. Another important part is La Muralla Romana de César Augusta. Ella fue construida en el siglo III. Llegó a alcanzar un perímetro de 3,000 metros, casi 1,000 pies, y a contar con hasta 120 torreones. Este es un torreón. Almost 120 of those surrounding the city and the wall or muralla. Esta muralla fue construida alrededor de la ciudad. Se calcula que era aproximadamente 3 kilómetros or almost a mile surrounding the city, alrededor de la ciudad de Zaragoza. Vamos a ver el Museo del Teatro. Romano o el Museo del Teatro de César Augusta. Why César Augusta? César Augusta was Caesar. Caesar was the person, an important person in the Roman Empire, and he conquered this region and established the museums, uh, the museums today, but the theaters, the piscinas, the commerce, everything that you could see inside this area. Aquí tenemos cerámica romana. Este es el teatro. Interesting is because the only part of the theater that you can see is this part here. Look, this part is right here. Okay, all the rest is under buildings. Probably there are some ruins, but we don't visit. This is the theater or whatever is left of the theater. Um, 
those are the stairs you can go in and out of the theater but you see all the above part of the theater is gone and today is protected by this and the sky protecting and here is the museum today you go there and visit the museum this is another view of the cubierta cubierta this is the cubierta or cover because now all the ruins are exposed to the air uh, to protect the ruins they cover with una cubierta Another important part of the city is El Foro de César Augusta. Remember, César is the guy responsible for conquering Zaragoza and establishing the city and establishing everything in the city for the people. El Museo del Foro, this is a new building with marble outside. And you go down, down, down the steps to visit the museum that's underneath. Foro, because this was really the center of the city. Okay, today you see modern buildings around, but the Roman Empire buildings are underneath the streets. El Museo del Foro de César Augusta nos ofrece una visión de la vida cotidiana en el centro de la ciudad romana durante su época y a lo largo de su primer siglo de existencia. Estos restos arqueológicos pertenecen a un mercado de la época del emperador Augusto y al foro urbano, edificios en tiempo de Tiberio. Entonces tenemos, we have two emperadores, dos emperadores. César and Augusta. That's why you have César Augusta. That's the city of César Augusta. Two important people that established the Roman Empire in this region. This is una maqueta del foro de César Augusta. Maqueta is a small uh, view of the city made with wood. That way you have an idea how this was a long time ago. It's another maqueta. Then here is the river. Okay, you can see here is the river. And you go from up, down, up, down to the river. And the boats stop here. And the merchandise goes in and out. They develop a huge commerce. Um, bringing goods and taking goods from the city of César Augusta. Let's take a look here. You see, this is Spain and this is the Rio Ebro. The Romans came from Roma, of course, and they came through the river going all the way up, 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 up. The city I am showing you is Zaragoza. Escalinata para el puerto fluvial. Remember, I told you we have steps, escaleras, escalinata, going up and down. Take a look. This is underneath a building. The building is above, and all the rooms are underneath the building. Interesting, right? What they found under the ruinas when they took all the dirt they found beautiful ceramicas, ceramicas romanas. Also, the, those are the ceramica romanas where they put goods inside, like trigo, okay? And here they are also platos y vasos romanos, what is left from what the Romans used at that time. Maybe. Here is a good source if you want to explore a little bit more about the city of Zaragoza, what they offer to you. Zaragoza is not the only seat in Spain that can show you Roman roads. Enjoy. Adios. Hasta pronto.